Greetings, Epic Adventure Seekers. I'm Ellie Bierman, your guide to demystifying your world. And you are now participating in Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. You know, I was thinking today, probably wondering what metaphysics is all about. Well, you've heard of quantum physics. Well, quantum physics is the physical physics of really small things. Metaphysics is the philosophy explaining quantum physics, how everything actually works. And that's what we do here. So when we're talking about consciousness and awareness and the fact that the world that you experience with your five senses, you ready? Come close. It's only 1% of the reality that exists out there. 1%. And the fact is, you're not your body and you're not your mind. You are conscious awareness. And that is the awareness of the other 99% that's out there. And when you can live in that place, the world looks bigger and much more exciting. So what do I want to talk with you about today? I got a question for you. Take a moment and come up with your response, okay? What do you want in your life right now? What do you want? Well, I would say chances are, you didn't tell me what you want. Chances are you tell me what you don't want. Am I right? You see, our natural state in life is happiness. And if you don't live in happiness, true happiness all the time, which has nothing to do with circumstances, which has nothing to do with events, which has nothing to do with anything outside of you, if you're not living in true happiness, it's because you've got all these blockades in the way of who you really are and the fact that who you really are lives all the time, not some of the time, but all the time in true happiness. And that's why when I ask what you want, chances are you came up with a response of what you don't want. So what kind of thing might it be? Well, you don't want to have to scramble for a living. You don't want to go to a job that you really don't like. You don't want to have excess weight on you. You don't want to have health discomforts. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But they're all don't wants. Now, here's the thing. The universe gives you everything you ask for, everything. That's how the universe works. That's how you manifest. That's how you create your reality. And what you don't know is the universe can't process negative words. So when you ask for what you don't want, it doesn't hear the don't. And it keeps you giving you stuff you don't want because it can't filter out the don't. And then you wonder why. Why does your world look the same every day? Why is it crummy? Why is it frustrating? That's why. Pretty simple, actually, don't you think? So what you can choose to do. You might want to write this down. You can choose to think new thoughts that you never thought before. And those new thoughts that are different for you will then allow you to have new feelings that you haven't had before. And those new feelings combined with those new thoughts allow you to take action steps you've never done before. And that my friend, that's how you get to have something, how you get to be someone you've never been who can have things you've never 
had before. And that's how you get the life you want. Oh, but when you put out your requests, you don't just put it out and forget about it. You put it out and you love it. Because here's the thing you may not know. Once you put out a request, the universe immediately brings it to you. And when you take action, you get to manifest it into your world. It's that simple. You put the request out and it's immediately yours. So you can love into the reality of it being part of your world. Wow, I had a really exciting day today. One way to get you into things that you want is to feel happy and grateful. Oh, I used to have a site called the Happy Share Movement. And then I realized it's got to be more than just a happy share. It's got to be happy and grateful. So for very many years, honestly, I don't know how many years I've been doing it. First thing in the morning, I do all my meditations and finish them up by immediately speaking. I used to write them, but I go through after notebook, after notebook, after notebook. So I decided I'm just going to speak them. And I speak them out loud because that way I hear it and it processes through me. So I'll list 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful that morning. Now, what does that do for me? It sets my mind, it sets my energy in a feel good place. And I go into the day, into my day, seeing and noticing, because you'll always see what you're looking for, what you're expecting, what you're accepting as possible. I go into my day knowing that all these great things are going to turn up and more and more great stuff that leaves me feeling happy, that leaves me feeling grateful, just keeps happening. I mean, nonstop. And it also allows you to tune into the fact that you are guides, you are angels, the universe. They're all bombarding you nonstop with messages that support you in living your very excellent life and true happiness and true wellness. Focus on wellness instead of what's missing, instead of what you don't want. Focus on wellness and you'll have wellness as your reality. So that gets me going on my day in a good, frame of mind with high energy and what I especially like to do in the morning get yourself moving get yourself shaking I made a video many years ago I'll have to see if I can find it now that I finally got my computer working now that I finally got my external drives with all my videos working I just to find out what I put where I'll find that video and share it with you so you want to get your body moving, shaking. What I like to do is a Tabata. That's a very quick exercise. Some of them are four minutes, some of them are eight in minutes, and they're quick, kind of intensive. And later in the day, I could do a high intensity workout, but I only do it three times a week. But that's more like 15 to 17 minutes. But you get yourself going with the quick movement, and then I like to do my qigong because that further has my body feeling, taking in the energy. I'm energy, your energy. There's only one energy in the world and everything is energy. So I feel, I can physically feel all that qi coming in through my hands and through my body and I can see it. And it's a really cool way to get going every day. And what's super exciting is on a day like today, which I anticipate more and more of them, as we're moving into a real springtime, I get to do my Qigong outdoors on the grass today, which 
that's just the ultimate amazing feeling because you can feel the roots growing down through your feet into the earth deep into the earth keep you really stable and also shooting way up into the cosmos so really connecting with all the energy composing the all is one so i'm going through my day doing the things that i plan to do and i'm very good about getting done what I plan to do each day. And then before I go to sleep at night, I have a going to sleep routine. I like to read, not digital reading, but to pick up a book and read words. I also write in my, I love me journal, something for which I love being me. And I'll write one thing and then I'll go back and I'll read at least one page. And I'm, I've been doing this for well over 800 days. So I've been doing this for years. That's another feel good feeling before going to sleep. And then I'll also do that reading that I'm doing is also setting me in a mindset of things that I don't just ask of the universe things that I actually demand of the universe. And when you read D. Wallace's book, Born, and I'll show that to you again, because I've been reading it every day for months, many months. So I definitely read something in there before I go to sleep too. And maybe some other books uh, or at least excerpts, chapters from books. Do you know that you can get all kinds of amazing books for free from your library? If you live in New York, it doesn't matter where you live in New York, you can get books, audios, all kinds of stuff from the New York City Public Library. And you can also get digital stuff. Like I got to listen to the Broadway show Hamilton through... Was it Hoopla is the digital stuff? And I get audio books and ebooks. I prefer holding your handbooks. But the fact is, you can get all kinds of stuff to nourish your spirit so you can grow. Because there's no such thing as homeostasis. You never stay where you are. You're either growing or you're dying. Choose growing. It will enrich your life. It will improve your happiness and your wellness and your health and all those things that let you be grateful to be alive each day. And the way I finish that up as I get in bed is 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful that happened that day. That's setting my mind in a place when I'm going to sleep for dreams and feelings and sleep that's peaceful, that feels good. It's a positive energy. It's a feel-good energy to take me through the night. There's one other time I do happy and grateful. If I find something that's very frustrating or annoying during the day, and if you know what happens with me and with computers and with hard drives, it's been like, I've been going bananas. And today I got some things working. Shh, don't tell my devices. I got all kinds of things working today. I went in and I didn't even know how to program my new external hard drive. And I just went in and you know what? You just let the universe guide you. You don't have to know. Just follow the feelings the universe is putting through you. And I did. And now I have it's six, seven terabytes of this external disk drives in addition to the five I had before that weren't working, I'm just telling you everything's working because I've been putting out to the universe that I love what I'm doing and it's just easier to do it when everything works.
So what is it you've been wanting to do in your world for yourself? Well, before I close, I want to remind you in case you missed a couple of weeks ago and I was sharing with you the stem cell patches. So here's something I haven't shown anybody yet. For 10 years, I couldn't do this. Okay, I'm taking my right hand. I can put it on the left side of my head like this and I can turn. I couldn't do that for 10 years. I couldn't get my hand up. And I sure as heck couldn't get my hand on the other side of my head. I can do that because it just stems out badges. We can do all kinds of things because those stem cell patches, they're creating cells. That's what stem cells do that differentiate into where you need them. And if you look down in the show notes, you'll find the link for how to talk with me. And we'll do a, a live Zoom together. And I'll show you how you can feel better. You can feel better physically, emotionally, socially, you name it. I am feeling so grateful that you joined me here today. And I want to remind you to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J, oh, why exclamation point every moment, because life doesn't exist outside of you. You know, a whole lot of spiritual teachers say the world out there isn't even real. It's all a hallucination. It's all a dream because there is zero scientific evidence that anything out there actually exists. So if you're seeing or hearing or touching, smelling, tasting, it's because it's going on in that awareness and the awareness can feel what's happening in your body in the moment it's happening because your body just doesn't really exist all the time. I will see you here next week.